One more alternative use of dry land is for agroforestry or monocropping of forest species. Agroforestry means planting forest species on buns, strips or wasteland patches along with routine crops. Agroforestry has many advantages like firewood, green manure, dry leaves for compost, fodder, food and shelter for birds, nectar for honeybees, etc. Logging mature timber fetches a big amount later. Plant species selected for agroforestry must grow fast, straight and without much wide canopy. Fodder species must withstand repeated lopping. It should have deep root system so that it will not compete for food and water with the routine crops on the farm. Leguminous species will enrich soil fertility by nitrogen fixation. The plants contributing to biodiversity and species with commercial value are given more priority in agroforestry system. Let us study a few important agroforestry species now. Teak is a popular plant as life fans on the boundaries of farms. Keep on trimming side branches to make it to grow tall and straight. Logging every alternate plant in the row after 6 to 8 years will bring sizable income and allows remaining plants to grow thicker and better. Teak plants do not create problem of shade also. It will produce valuable timber after 25 to 30 years. Subabul is one more important agroforestry species. This is a proteinaceous and palatable fodder also. It grows into a big tree in just 6 to 8 years. The wood is used for pulp and lightweight furniture. Subabul gives highest tonnage of wood and best income in the least time compared to other species. It withstands repeated lopping of branches as fodder or green manure. It multiplies very easily by seeds. Subabul is popular as life fence and windbreaker also. Silver oak is one more important agroforestry species in use. It is found on the boundaries of the farms as well as in coffee plantations for partial shade. Trimming side branches will make it to grow straight for more than 100 feet. Timber from the silver oak fetches a good price due to its pulp quality. There is no much shade problem with this tree. The next popular agroforestry species is Casorina. This is being grown on buns and also in separate plantations. Casorina produces straight poles useful for roof and good timber at maturity. Likewise, we find eucalyptus also on the boundaries of the farms. Fodder trees are one of the major components of agroforestry systems. Gliricidia finds place as life fens or on buns. The herbage is cut three to four times a year for green manuring. This is a proteinaceous fodder also, but animals will feed on this only after wilting due to its smell. Susbenia is another palatable and proteinaceous fodder. This grows very fast and withstands repeated lopping. Caliandra is one more soft and nutritious fodder, very much liked by the cattle. Animals eat even small stems along with the leaves. But do not feed Caliandra a lot. It is said that it develops infertility in animals. In sole plantations of agroforestry species, seasonal crops or grass may be grown between plant rows till they develop full canopy. Shade tolerant species like guinea grass can grow for a few more years. Sole plantation of forest trees is advised in unfertile fallow land of the farm. Neem is a common species found on most of the farms in dry regions. Of course, we won't find separate neem plantations anywhere. Neem shows stunted growth in high rainfall areas. Leaves, seeds, oil and seed cake of neem are highly useful in organic farming. 
mature timber fetches a good price. Likewise, Melia has also secured its place in agroforestry system in recent years. Many farmers planted this species on a large scale. The leaves of Melia is a nutritious fodder also. This plant produces soft timber in 10 to 15 years, which is useful for pulp and lightweight furniture. Acacia auriculari formis is the most popular species in forest plantations in the last few decades. This species from Australia can survive and grow in extreme hot climate with the least soil moisture. It is not browsed by animals and comes for logging in 8 to 10 years. It mostly sells for pulp and firewood. However, the thicker one fetches a good price as timber. Farmers in dryland regions planted this acacia on a large scale in recent years. One more popular species found in agroforestry plantations is eucalyptus. It grows very fast and straight. It is used for pulp and timber purposes. Ratoons grow in clumps after cutting the first plant. There is no scientific proof for the claim that this tree depletes groundwater. Pongamia, a popular tree found in dry lands, is the best suited plant for green manuring. Herbage and seed cakes are widely used in organic farming. Pongamia seed with high oil content is used for biofuel extraction on a large scale. Likewise, Acacia nilotica is also a common multi-purpose tree found in dry lands. Few farmers planted costly timber species Sisu along with other trees. Growth is very slow, but the timber fetches bumper price at maturity. Sandalwood, the state tree of Karnataka, has also found its place in farms in recent years. It is difficult to protect it from smugglers, but farmers planted sandalwood in large numbers after the government relaxed Forest Act enabling the farmers owning this tree. The growth of this plant is very slow in dry lands but it produces best quality heartwood. Now the government is also encouraging the farmers to grow sandalwood.